Part 1, MCQs The paradigm depicts society as a stable orderly system in which the majority of the members share a common set of values, c. Functionalist perspective a. Is intellectual stimulus calling for an answer, b. Research problem In which the questions, their wordings, and their sequence are fixed and are identical for every respondent, c. Scheduled structured interview Combines two or more questions into one, d. Double-barreled questions The focus of is to understand the culture from emic, insider, and etic, outsider, perspective, d. Ethnography is based on the claims by the leaders, and a belief on the part of the followers, that there is virtue in the sanctity of age-old rules and powers. A. Traditional Authority Durkheim introduced the concept of enemy in his study of A. Suicide Karl Marx was inspired by the dialectical method of B. Hegel 4. Modernity was defined by the capitalist economy. A. Marx Augusta Kunt believed that could be applied to the study of society and human behavior. D. Scientific method Parsons' analysis of social system is based on the principle of C. Homeostasis Who among the following stressed upon the interdependence of different parts of society? D. Herbert Spencer which of the following is a quality associated with qualitative interviewing as opposed to quantitative interviewing? C. Flexibility According to, society has passed through three stages, namely theological, metaphysical and positive. C. Augusta Comte Related to the fundamental needs of the society. A. Maurice is an appropriate method when the phenomenon to be observed is communication rather than behavior or physical objects. b. Content analysis In a conclusion is drawn on the basis of observed instances. b. Inductive Refers to whether the manipulation of the independent variables caused the observed effect on the dependent variables. b. Internal validity is a process in which rivalries and cultural differences tend to disappear gradually by the process of time. a. Assimilation The rule of sociological method was written by a. Emile Durkheim